Shut up! <laughs> Do I look a bit like uh, Ed Sullivan in front of this curtain? A little bit. Let me tell you. Do you know how, like, w when we were in Paris like, a couple of weeks ago, or a month ago, or two days ago, or depending if this is a rerun, it could have been last year, but they... <laughs> when we were in Paris uh, with the show, we, uh, you know, you go around and you're kind of on vacation. You meet people, you bump into people, and you say, hey, if you're ever in L.A., come and look us up, because they're not going to look you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we were there, we went to the... Uh, well, when I say we, I mean me on my own wearing a large raincoat, went to the... Uh, <laughs> No, oh, no. We went, uh, we went to the very famous Moulin Rouge, where the, uh, you know, the, the place in France where the naked ladies dance. <laughs> and how they dance. <laughs> and we said, you know, to the dancers that were there in the famous Moulin Rouge in Paris, up, you know, near the end of the street, at the end of the... It's a big giant red windmill. You can't miss it. <laughs> well, that's French, isn't it? Moulin is French for windmill, isn't it? And Rouge is French uh, for makeup. So, <laughs> so uh, the, well, anyway, we said to the dancers of the Moulin Rouge, if you're ever in Los Angeles, come by and be on the show. And then they did. <laughs> Please welcome all the way from Paris, France, the sensational dancers of the Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Be quiet now. I know you're all thrilled by my can-can dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I had to dance sideways because if I danced straight on with these trousers, you could maybe see something that you couldn't afford. <laughs> <laughs> You can afford it, call me. <laughs> You'd never see it in here anyway. The lightning here is so bad, you look up my pants, all you're gonna see is darkness. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're gonna see anyway. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody! Yeah. It's a great day for, but not a great day for Scarlett Johansson. Really? I don't know. Like, if I woke up and I was with Scarlett Johansson, I'd be like, yeah! <laughs> uh, Scarlett Johansson, uh, her phone was hacked and nude pictures of Scarlett were leaked onto the internet today. So I'd like to take a moment to bid goodnight to any 18 to 34 year old males who hadn't heard about this. <laughs> like, what? So long, creepy Scottish guy! <laughs> Why 18 to 34 year olds? So the guys who are 35 are like, Scarlett Johansson? That's nah, kid stuff. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested. I'm 35 now. I'm not interested in Scarlett Johansson. I... <laughs> I want to see a creepy Scottish guy doing the can. <laughs> Do you know there's a new book out? It's this kind of long papery blog. And uh, this book... <laughs> This book uh, claims that Sarah Palin had a one-night stand with an NBA player when she was in college. <laughs> Man, if this is true, I am all over this for about six months. But <laughs> I don't think it's true. I think what probably happened is they started having sex and then she quit halfway through to do a reality show. That's probably... <laughs> wow. Also today is that this show, the show uh, Entertainment Tonight premiered on this day in 1981. So in the show's honour, we'd like to look back at all the important stories it featured. <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday, E.T. Well done. Now, if you know if you know anything about me, which you do now that you've seen up my pants, you'll know that I, I love to go to the mall. And when I go to the mall, I always head straight for uh, Forever 21. You know, the latest fashions at affordable prices. But... <laughs> but Forever 21, they're in hot water because, you know, they've been selling a T-shirt that says allergic to algebra. And parents say this is a bad message to give kids, so they had to pull the shirt off the shelves. So I got one before. Have you got a picture of me in my shirt? Anyhow. <laughs> Do you ever get a feeling the graphics guy here does, just doesn't even care? <laughs> He's like, all right, we want to do a Photoshop with Craig wearing that shirt. And like, yeah, look, there's his head there. Go. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, they, they can't sell this T-shirt anymore. I personally, I feel sorry for kids who are, uh, are actually allergic to algebra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, algebra intolerant or something. Personally, I wasn't good at math when I was a kid. I went to the University of Life. I learned how many grams are in an ounce and how many pints are in a vomit. <laughs> For me, a personal best, 14. <laughs> Thank you for applauding my hopeless blackout alcoholism, everybody. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't. You just kind of went, ooh. <laughs> it was a kind of a judgmental... I'm spitting now. I thought of the 14 pint. I'm like, it's like 20 years since I had a pint, and I'm like, blah. Man, that's like really Pavlovian, isn't it? Like, pint, What am I talking about? Oh, the T-shirt thing. Yeah, no, a couple of weeks ago, uh, J.C. Penney got in the same kind of trouble. They had to stop selling a shirt that said, I'm too pretty to do homework, which uh, I didn't buy any of those. <laughs> but what kind of parent would buy these shirts for their kids? These shirts say it's cool to be dumb. Now, you take it from me, kids. You do not look cool if you're dumb. You look cool if you smoke cigarettes. <laughs> CBS cares. There we are. I remember when uh, there was a popular shirt that used to say, I'm with stupid, it had a, an arrow, like that. Remember that shirt? I used to wear that shirt out here. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But now you don't even need that. You just have a shirt that says, I am stupid. This is a trend, Jeff. This is a trend. It's a trend that's going on in the fashion industry and all across popular culture right now. A trend of anti-intellectualism. Uh, and I'm against it. I, I don't like the anti-intellectualism, or as we call it in television, television, I am not for it. <laughs> I think it is important that kids study and uh, hard and get a good education. Then when they graduate and can't find a job, they'll be able to have stimulating conversations. <laughs> and you should never wear a T-shirt that advertises how stupid you are. If you want people to know how stupid you are, just wear a T-shirt that says Team Edward. <laughs> yeah, I said it, bitch, I said it. <laughs> Team Jacob's where the action is. Do you wear a T-shirt underneath all that Mr. T stuff you've got going on there? How dare you? Well, I can't, I can't tell. You're wearing so much that necklace business. Yeah, I have a T-shirt under here. It says Team Edward. <laughs> I didn't know you were Team Edward. Yes, I'm all about sparkly vampires. <laughs> T now, uh, in all honesty, J Jacob is the, the little kind of twinky werewolf, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's a twinky werewolf. Twinky werewolf, yeah. Yeah, that's what he is, right? He's yeah, a, he's a slightly chubby uh, werewolf. Yeah, he's, he, he is a bit chubby, isn't he? He does. He looks like he's been boxed in the face a couple times. <laughs> he's just giving his opinion. Can't a robot give his opinion? Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you people? Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you people? Hey, hey it's very nice, our special guest tonight, isn't it? Ooh la la. Ooh la la, yeah. Who are our special guests? <laughs> Well, they, they were here before the commercial break, don't you remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was just standing in silence. <laughs> and observing. <laughs> do you want to uh, do the thing? Oh, which thing? Well, we could do the other thing, but can you do the commercial break? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do that after the show. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that after the show. You're watching. Oh, right, wait, wait. Let me what? get in position. Are you just start going, just go ahead? Get in position. This is perfect. That... Yeah, I've got to get in position. I thought that was after the no, show. No, no, that's a different thing. <laughs> let me get in position. I turn around, I look there, yeah, and then you see the thing get there. Get in position. Yeah. Well, go on. Well, I'm getting in position now. That's me telling you to get in position with uh, an arm. Oh, I'm go sorry. On. I thought you were pointing at someone over there. No, I'm, I'm, point, I'm pointing at you. Oh, really? Yeah. It's very interesting where you're pointing at me. I'm over here. Why don't you point directly at me, you smart-ass son of a bitch? Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen at home, I'm with Stupid. <laughs> do the thing, do the thing. All right. You're watching The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, where being dumb isn't just cool, it's a requirement. <laughs> It's the big dance show tonight where it wasn't that amazing when they came out and did the dance in there. Just... Oh man, that was wild. And it was wild. You know the thing is as well, that the, all these dancers, they just arrived today uh, from Paris. It's a 12-hour flight from Paris, and they, they got here and they, they, they came straight here. They smell, they still smell of the airplane. <laughs> Or maybe that's just dancing. <laughs> did, it, did it turn you on? Oh, yeah. It turned me on more than I already am. I thought, I thought it was very, uh, very... Um, well, I, it caught my attention. <laughs> see that the guy that put the, uh, his leg above his head like that? Did you see that guy? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. That's, that's who I was looking at the whole time. Uh, Why don't you do that, man? I want to see you put your leg over your head. Why don't you uh, see if you can uh, stick your zutalo? Why don't you come over here and do yeah. it for me? <laughs> All right, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's street mail time. And remember, if we don't read your letter on the air, congratulations, you're creepier than we are. Play the thing. Plus, email.
e-mail. Blast the e-mail. E-mail time. <laughs> All right, this is from Penny in Carbra, North Carolina. You ever been to uh, Carbra, oh, yeah, North Carolina? Go to a place like this one, and that's yeah. yeah. the thing. Throw a piece of people and yeah. can can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says, Dear the Fergs, uh, that probably means me. Uh, when watching movies, my husband frequently makes comments about the actress's breasts. This bugs the hell out of me. How can I get him to keep his thoughts to himself? He probably doesn't know he's doing it. You see, what happens is that at, at a certain time, particularly later in the day, if you see, if you're a man, you know, and you're heterosexual and you look at ladies' breasts, uh, sometimes you just go, Wow. <laughs> You don't mean anything by it. Nobody means anything by it. Nobody's trying to upset anybody. You're just going, ah. <laughs> but the thing is, and it goes, the minute you turn 35, you're like, oh, no, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> <I say." laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, good luck. Um, this is from Jackie in Leesburg, Florida. Ever been in Leesburg, Florida? A little bit. <laughs> uh, where? Where? Let's be in row, quick. <laughs> Don't embarrass people. I think it's too late for that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, this is from Jackie who says, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary, I... <laughs> you know what I think is great? That backstage, you know the intern there is going, you know, I'm the back end of the horse. <laughs> Le back end of the... Le derriere, c'est moi. <laughs> that is so true, man. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to be... Uh, it's a dear Craig, Jeff, secretary. I'm going to be in the musical Oklahoma at my school playing the lead. I can get you free tickets. Do you want to come? I'd love to come, but unfortunately, I I'm not going to. Well, wh when is it? Uh, if it's uh, any time, you know, I can't make it. <laughs> Jeff, you, you love a good production of Oklahoma, don't oh, you? Oh, I did my favorite music. Uh, yeah, yes, you like the, the thing, the corner's as high as an elephant. <laughs> What's the other thing in the, uh, the Oklahoma musical? Um, oh, Oklahoma, that's one. And then any more songs from that? Uh, poor Judd is dead. <laughs> well, that's a creep. I hate that musical. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we would come, but we hate that musical. This is from Matt in Crawfordsville, Arkansas. Um... No. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear GP in the Fergs, I am a huge fan, and I was wondering, since Jeff has so many places and cities all over the USA, what team does he root for? I think you know what team he roots for. <laughs> <laughs> Are we out of time? Oh, oh, uh, uh, well, oh, 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 I dropped him. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll Hollywood version of the Moulin Rouge in Paris, we call it Le Creepy Basement. <laughs> my, uh, my first guest tonight is in the fantastic hit show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The seventh season premieres tomorrow on the FX channel. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito, everybody!
Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. Wow. Why, did you hear that? Oh they like goodness. you more than girls doing the can-can. <laughs> but they've all seen me naked. <laughs> yes? So... They hey, have. I, 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 want, I want to say something. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. Did you do something here? <laughs> what the hell? Well, I, I did... We finished our seventh season for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. And I did that. It was but, very right. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> It's coming on on two. You did that? Uh, yeah, I did. Coming it's coming on. on. Thursday, I said the FX, Thursday night, FX, yeah, yeah. ten o'clock. And I had the hair. If you noticed in the show, in the show, yeah. I had the long hair. I had, this year I went crazy with it. I mean, I braided it. I did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I was eating it. I, long, I made it real long. It was hot, hanging over my front. Was, and I said, you know, I, I finished the show, and I, you know how it is, women, when you have the long hair, and it's like just, you feel like you need a change. So I just cut it all off and, and made it blonde. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I said, I took that old picture of, uh, there was a Vanity Fair years ago with Marilyn Monroe on it. Yeah. And I said to the hairdresser, give me that. <laughs> and... <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. All right. Well, I think, I think it looks great. I mean, do you, you did your eyebrows too? Yeah, right? you got it. Got to do the eyebrows. Did you? Did, and I got new glasses. See what you what go the hell, man? Are you having some kind of crisis? Did you do the whole business? Did you go downstairs for I, the? I was toying with getting the balls pierced, uh, but I didn't. Oh! No! Oh. I wouldn't do that, guy. It's, I'm from New Jersey. What are you kidding me? Don't. <laughs> Wait, we don't get you our can't, balls You pierced. can't have your balls pierced? Not if you're from Jersey. Oh, all right. No, no, no. You can get your salami pierced. Hey! <laughs> salami, yeah, salami. Come, no, come on now. Don't bring the tone in. We got the Moulin Rouge dancers here. Have you ever been to the Moulin Rouge? It's in yeah, Paris. No, but I was backstage. I know. I, we couldn't get you. You were chasing the girls. I watch them. I, I watch them. Put those clothes on. I know, man. Yeah, man. They, they do it fast, too. Yeah. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> They're quick. They're quick, baby. Yeah, I know. Oh, just oh. like the two of us, creepy yeah. old man going, Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, I see all hey. my glasses in here. Hey. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to come into your dressing room. Oh, wrong and, uh, room. Oh, wrong room. No, I didn't do that, but I'm going to after the show. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna stay here all night. Baby. Yeah. Have you ever been there? You been to the Milan? No. Have you ever been to Paris? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you like yeah. it? I like Paris. Yeah, yeah. I like Paris. Uh, I've been there many times. For like, you know, we go to promote movies and things. You go overseas, and uh, you know, you. Uh, I've been to Paris, and did you drink the the lemon cellos when you're in Paris? When I you drink, when I, was in pa I drink everything. Yeah, I know that. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I, I drink, like, you know, they have this thing over there, which is, uh, I think it's called Pernod. Oh, I know it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. this, uh, this, uh... Oh, it's a, it's a, like, anise 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 kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop drinking that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I mean, you can't stop. I, I, I can't. Well, no, I, well, I, I don't drink as much as I used to. Really? Now, oh. I calm down. I, I really, really wait. Neither, neither do I, actually. I, I don't. Well, you don't drink at all. Not, not, no, no, no. No, But I... I, I think I, it's I admirable. Mine. I, no, I finished no, mine. Yeah, no, you're done with it. You don't need to drink anymore. You, you do oh, a lot I mentioned uh, beer, pint, earlier on, and I started salivating. I saw you spitting yeah. all over the camera. I, was, I just said, pint, and I went, beer, 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 beer. Like that. It was like when I saw the girls, I was like, ah. Well, then I hope you never give up. Well, I hope so. Well, you know, there's, there's, well, you know, you've got to be careful. I mean, you know, it's all right to kind of look a little bit. But, but you can look, you can't touch. Right. That's, that's, yeah, because you're married. Right, exactly. Yeah, so. and you got the couple of kids and the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know me, man. <laughs> well, how old how was the kid? Eight months old? I got I got, I got the hey, ten. ten. You got the, the uh, Liam. Li uh, Milo is ten and Liam. Milo. Yeah, and, and then Liam is eight months. Liam is eight months. Yeah. 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 I got the Lucy who's 28. Yeah, months? I got, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, years. I got the Gracie who's 26. Wow. And I got Jake who's 20, 20 going to be 24. That's, that's beautiful. They're all it's the greatest. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't oh have to change god. diapers. No. Or, no. Diapers. Oh my god. We were in diapers for six years. Are you kidding me? When they, oh yeah. Yeah, they were like right there. after another. I mean, it's like I'm talking about that's a loaded. Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> well. 
That is a that is a load. Ooh, it's a powerful oh, amount of manure right I'm there. I'm talking yeah. about a baby. You know, but yeah, you what surprised me about the baby poo is how much it looks like uh, adult poo. Um, <laughs> well, in the beginning, you know, it's kind of like really nice. It's like that light brown mustard. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's like it's like I the mean, color you almost, of your hair. You almost it's do like it. that. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Yes, uh, it, but you know, and you, when you do it, and you put the baby in there, and you go, you got to go to go, and you got the little thing, you got to wipe its butt, you know, and it's, it's crapped all over, it's like kind of <laughs> oozed out of the sides. Yeah. Oh man, it's just like you can almost just while you're throwing that uh, wipey away, you can almost go. Oh. I mean, it's your kid, man. Yeah. Come on. No, man. Yeah. No. Come on. In the beginning. No. Not hey, hey, how does Rhea like your hair? Oh, she 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 kind of digs it, you know. Well, here's the thing with my hair. For a year, two years, I left it really long. I was on the show last time. It was pretty long, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was. And, and on the show, and on my show, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia, I always... When's like, that on there, Dan? Oh, that comes on Thursday nights <laughs> at 10 on FX. And by the way, we're syndicated. Monday night we start uh, uh, we start our syndication. Well, what the, what the hell does that mean? You 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 solve crimes now in a syndication? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever have you ever solved a crime though? Really? Yeah. No. Really? Never? No, I can't find my toothbrush. <laughs> I've been looking for it for days. Is this some kind of improvisational thing? Uh, <laughs> no, knock it off, man. You know, you don't come here and break my stuff. It's, it's enough. All right, right, okay, uh, listen. What? We're out of time. So, uh, croissant. <laughs> we're out of time? Yeah, no. Oh, get the thing over there. Oh, I oh yeah, oh, right, this wait, is oh, this. Oh, if only oh. I had something to watch later on this evening. Uh, <laughs> it's the season six. It's out on DVD. And, is that uh, what this is? What? I yeah. just thought it was a very compact no, wait, novel. Let me see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, all right. it works. It's all right. good. That'll be good. Yeah. All right. right. Now, listen, I, you, I, what do you fancy? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or the new one? Would you like to go for the big cash prize? I'll take the big cash prize. All right. Okay. Big cash prize. 50 bucks in singles, right? If you can answer one question. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Iceland is in... Go. Baguette. Oh, man. How did you know? It's the place in France where the naked ladies. Uh, uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> I was going to say it's the place in France where the naked ladies dance, and then I said, well, it's the place in West Hollywood where the covered-up ladies don't have much room to move in. <laughs> My next guest is a very beautiful actress. That's a risk, Craig. I know, but I'm prepared to take it. She's in a new film, I Don't Know How She Does It, which is in theatre September the 16th. Take a look at this. Please welcome the adorable Olivia Munn, everybody. Olivia Munn. I was fixing your microphone, but sure. I, we've just met, and to be that close to your <laughs> bottom is something. <laughs> it, it was. Uh, I, I'm sorry it took me so long. I got kind of. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Oh. Do, do well, you, I appreciate uh, you taking your time. You know, well, I, I wasn't. I, I was going as fast as I could. I just. I was like. <laughs> Danny put me up. Did you meet Danny backstage? Yeah, I did meet. I've met Danny before, and he's very nice. I love that man. Really? Yeah, well, he's very nice to me. He, he was a big fan of The Daily Show, and he was bringing up stuff, and he was very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Very nice. What'd you think of his hair? I like it. I think it's, uh, it's different. <laughs> it's different in a good way. Yeah, it is different. It's a, you know, I, I was thinking of doing it myself. The, uh... Oh, no, not you. <laughs> what the no, hell? No, because you're already so, like, it, it, there isn't such a thing as being too handsome. <laughs> Uh, 
I, I think you could go for the big uh, jackpot prize tonight. <laughs> I'm ready. So tell me all about it. How's the uh, movie that she does it so well? That movie. Um, it, I don't know how she does it. That that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, have Have you ever seen RoboCop? Yeah, I love Robocop. Yeah, it's about like a, a cop who turns into a, a robot. A cyborg. The license cop to kill. That goes nuts. I know, yeah. it's, a, it's nothing like that. No! <laughs> well, then, frankly, I don't know what your chances are like then because that is a great movie. Well, you, uh, have you seen like Weekend at Bernie's where like they, they want to go on a trip with the, uh, the boss and get the big promotion and yes. they end up dying so they take him down? Yeah, the, the, the dead body. That all was around. a really good movie, yeah, too. That's a good movie, too. I like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, did you ever see. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people didn't like this movie, but I like this movie Ghost Rider. Do you like Ghost Rider? Oh, the one with Nick Cage? Yeah, but the skeleton goes on fire. <laughs> yeah! Get, uh, Jeff, that's how he came about. My love. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jeff. a flaming skeleton, too. Yeah, 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 you got it, <laughs> do, you, uh, do you enjoy robots? Do you, like, uh, do you like robots? I enjoy RoboCop, mostly. I don't know any other robots, really. Really? No. Do you do you know any other robots besides Jeff? Actually, no. I I. I... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we work together. I feel like I don't even know him. Do you ever get that when you work with actors and actresses? You think you know you do intimate things with them and then you the, you just leave, or is that me? Um, <laughs> no, I I do. I try to just make time and, and hang out with them and go to lunch and dinner and you know and talk to them in between scenes. Do you not talk to people? No, no, them? I don't care for that kind of thing at all. <laughs> important especially you know I do a lot of comedy I think it's important to create those um, you know like a realistic vibe between the two you know like well I mean th that, that's why you're good at it then I, I I mean if I did that I'd be good at it <laughs> you are good at it no 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 I'm having a crisis right now I'll tell you why it's because when you came out and your you know, your microphone didn't work huh? it kind of kind of threw me a bit oh it did well not not the microphone <laughs> kind of freaked me out. I thought, I'm being too creepy tonight. I am are you? Too, yeah, I think so. I don't yeah. think so. Really? I, think you're, I think you're the same creepy you always are. <laughs> but it's a, it's a good thing. Creepy is good? Y you're, I mean, when you have an accent, it's like, oh, that's oh, so cute. So, that's... <laughs> it's so like if, you, if you're like, if you say, put the lotion in the basket, that's creepy. <laughs> right? But if you say, put the lotion in the basket, that's all right. <laughs> Can you say it now? Put the lotion in the basket. Yeah. That's and that's right. not creepy. Just not that. Oh, that girl, when he does that, that's. Oh. That's one of those movies, though. Whenever I watch uh, TV, it's always on. Do you have, have movies like that? That one and uh, Perfect Storm for and, some reason. Um, the Shawshank Redemption is always Shawshank on. Shawshank Redemption. Mm -hmm. Get busy living or get. Jeff, you can do that. Yes, get busy living or get busy dying. <laughs> have you ever been to Zewatineo? I'm prepared to go. Where it's, is it's, that? It's in, it's in Shawshank Redemption. It's, it is? That's in the end of the movie. Yes, they go. That's the place they go to? The, yes, the, where they run down the, the beach? The one rock that won't look like any other rock. And he goes there, it's the black volcanic rock. Yeah, you've <laughs> seen this a lot, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I How often have TV. you seen the, uh, put the lotion in the bus? <laughs> <laughs> Can you not do that anymore? Okay. <laughs> I just, I really it's want kind of my thing, I though. Really I kind of do that. That's, I'm the kind of known as the g creepy guy oh. in the basement of late night. That's what I do. You know, it's that's my signature move. <laughs> <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin. That's my look, Go tootsie fruits. I'm doing it again. Here, do, do you want to talk about something? Yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, are you okay? Like, what's you know, are you feeling bad lately? I think it's all the girls from the Moulin Rouge thing turning up. I feel kind of embarrassed. It makes me feel like I'm at school again. You know, I feel like kind of, I don't really know what to... Are you a therapist? I can be. I think I'm, I think I'm, a, I'm a good listener, and I give good, uh, good advice to my friends. Really all right, advice. all right. So let's imagine that I was your friend. Okay. Right? Uh, and I came to you and said, Olivia, I'm very worried. I, I, I seem to drool a lot around um, dancers. Is that creepy? Be honest. Yeah, it is creepy. Right, right. And you should just not be around dancers anymore. Well, I'm not normally, you know. But if you can't, if you can't take it, then you just shouldn't do it. Or just turn around. What, like in that song, Turn Around Bright Eyes? That's a great song. That, I love that song. It's turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired. Turn, turn around. around. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah.
My friend, my friend Alan Darby used to be the, well, he still is a guy, but he used to, he was the guy in the, he's a guitarist, and he used to be the one that went, turn around <laughs> in that band. Oh, I bet he has so much money. I want to be that person that has, like, did one little thing, and then you, like, just... You know, you don't get, it's surprisingly not that lucrative to be oh, the really? guy that went, turn around. <laughs> People that make tons of money on doing like one thing, like, like, like write a Christmas song that like oh, every yeah. year or we should write a Christmas song. Okay, let's go. Um, well, not right now because they'll take it. The people at home will take our song. We have to practice later. You have trust issues. <laughs> I don't really know my father, so probably. <laughs> hmm. No, wait, wait. This is something an older man could capitalize on. <laughs> I feel bad, you have papers everywhere. You don't have to tidy up here. It's so messy. I, I just want you to know I'm a really good friend. I, you are a great friend. <laughs> if you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. It's GP and the Ferns. Epilogue. So, um... Many of these girls don't speak English. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So, I have a uh, ethical question for you. All right. All right. Is it cheating if the person you are with doesn't speak English? I'm gonna find out. Really, I thought... Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> have you, uh, did, did you guys uh, meet when we were in Paris? Yeah, yeah, we, we hung out a little bit. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> it's almost as if we've incorporated the awkward pause throughout the whole show. <laughs> it's become awkward and creepy from the beginning to the end. And I'm talking a little bit like William Shatner. <laughs> Not too much, but a little bit. <laughs> Why? Are you doing that? Sometimes you talk a little bit like William Shatner, too, don't you? It's weird, but I do. You can call me Bones. <laughs> okay. Bones, can you do anything about this? <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> Damn it, Jim. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> Not a bricklayer. Yeah. I know. I, I would like to thank, uh, but, you know, Daddy DeVito and the lovely Olivia Munn and, of course, the fabulous ladies and gentlemen of the uh, Moulin Rouge in Paris. If you get a chance to go to Paris, please go there. It's uh, $1.50 well spent. <laughs> Off you go.